Hi everyone, it's Trish here. Today I'm going to send you a short video on how to complete our next assessment task. And on Wednesday, this Wednesday, uh, you are going to complete assessment task 13, listen to information. Can you see that? It's back the front, but listen to information. You've got, you have a cover sheet. Please um, write your full name and your student number and sign and date. So read through this cover sheet. It's very important and sign and date and I will do the rest. Okay, so that's, um, you know, very important. Now, then the next thing you need to do is read the instructions. Okay. I will send you the BTN link to the episode that you can watch which the questions are based on. Now we have done a lot of practice tasks so you should be familiar with these questions. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, the story, the, what is the new story about? Okay, mainly about circle one. Remember that you've got to be really careful about um, what is the main you know, idea of this text? Um, what does the story focus on? Um, what is the main purpose of this story? Is the tone formal or informal? So if it's a serious issue, we normally say that it's more formal than in, um, informal. True or false questions, write true or false. Um, what is the aim of land care? So what's the purpose? What's the aim of land care? Name two things that have changed the land over time. You don't need to write full sentences. You can just write the answer, okay? And uh, why are they planting mana trees? So why? Why are the kids planting these trees? What's the purpose of that? So listen carefully. Now, the last question you do need to write in full sentences, a paragraph on um, ways or three things you can do to help preserve or protect our environment. So you need to think of some ideas and ways that you can protect the environment. So I wrote a couple of notes and I probably shouldn't be giving you too many tips, but you know what I'm like. Um, you know, things like recycling correctly, okay, making sure you recycle things, uh, using less water at home, um, making sure you turn um, uh, power, the switch, you know, power switches off because, you know, they emit, um, it, emit uh, it emits more um, uh, emissions. There are more emissions um, when you leave power on, um, which is bad for the environment. Um, uh, plant native trees, so plant more trees, you know, that's really good for the environment as well. Reduce rubbish, so reduce packaging, um, trying to avoid um, lots of excess packaging. So um, reduce rubbish, uh, walk or use a bike or carpool uh, rather than uh, uh, use your car, rather than driving, even catching transport. Um, so, you know, ways that you can protect the environment. Um, get involved in Clean Up Australia campaigns, you know, or clean up, you know, there are often events that happen to clean up the environment, you know, things like that. So Clean Up Australia Day is a big event. Um, use um, keep, keep cups for coffee, keep cups. Um, so use your own cup for coffee, you know, when you go to a, a coffee shop. At the moment, I think you're not allowed to, but in the future we will be. We're using our, you know, our coffee cups rather than um, using um, the uh, paper cups. Because remember, we watched a video on uh, how plastic bags and, you know, coffee cups uh, contribute to, you know, um, pollution in our environment, you know, pollution in, in waterways and in our environment. Um Use your own shopping bags, okay? Avoid, um, you know, pouring chemicals down the drain, you know, trying to use more organic products, you know, at home or cleaning products. You know, um, with fast fashion, for example, avoid, um, you know, buying too many clothes, buy better quality so that it lasts longer, you know, those kinds of things. Um, try to only buy what you need with food so that you don't end up throwing food away, which then ends up in landfill. And remember that everything that ends up in landfill fill uh, emits um, has emissions so it releases toxic gases when it breaks down into the earth so uh, the more that you know the less in landfill the better but there are certain things like plastic you know polyester you know, from clothing um, things that you know even um, food waste that goes into landfill and it emits um, gases into the atmosphere so trying to avoid um, things going into landfill unnecessarily okay so there's I've given you some ideas too many ideas probably so write down a couple of sentences make sure they're clear and easy to understand 
and without many mistakes okay so so complete that there is also i forgot to mention a criteria list there for you to read as to what you are being assessed on and the last page you need to sign and date okay so the date you do the task which should be on wednesday the latest um uh thursday but please still write wednesday's date okay that you do the task because the task is set for wednesday okay and so so sign and date that when you finish take a photo of the cover page for me um you don't need to take a photo of the instructions so don't do that then just take a photo of the um, task that you've completed okay and then you can complete the sign and date the back page for me okay that would be terrific okay sign and date and take a photo of this back page oh i already said that didn't i take a photo of your of your signature now um so keep the original so keep all your original assessment tasks i will tell you later on what you need to do um we will need the, the original so don't lose them i put an envelope in the package I don't know if they'll all fit, but anyway, you can probably put them in there and then eventually, hopefully, um, down the track when you finish, send them all back to me and um, because we'll need the original. And what I will try to do is um, if I can get into work, you know, because I don't live too far, too close, I will eventually print off um, what you have, have completed so that I have the, um, you know, copies of that or copies of those and then we'll get the originals from you, okay? So you probably won't get feedback right away because I will need to um, print um, the assessments eventually or look at the original and, um, and then, you know, and then do the criteria sheet. Um, but I can give you an idea if you want to know, like, how you went. Um, but, yeah, so we have to sort of a bit of a different process. But it is important to keep the original um, because we will need that. And then also take a photo because that is evidence that you have completed the task. Okay, so that's really important. And you can just send it to me via um, text or you can email it. And that goes with Rose as well. Okay, so, okay, so that's um, all from me. If you have any questions, please uh, send me a message or call me while you're doing the task. I will be available okay and next week uh, we will be doing a reading assessment and an internet assessment and this week I will be sending you some information on how to practice and prepare for the internet assessment it's not that hard actually and the reading task we've also done a fair bit of practice as well so that's next week so this week we're doing um, this assessment task and I'm going to send you some more work in preparation for the internet task, okay? So, um, and uh, yeah, so I'll be in touch. So good luck and let me know if you have any questions. Okay, bye.